Notes by Daniel Dewar and Gregory Jiquel about their exhibition at a secession. We employ local raw materials. Our workshops are equipped with both old and modern machinery. And with the help of a small team, we made this exhibition. We carved two monoxylous oak reliefs by hand, showing recumbent men lying in a submissive position under a catfish and a row of co-others. Similar smooth skins are touching at the meeting point between animals of different species, a shell and a vase. Colorado potato beetles and potato flowers embroidered on cushions. An oak bench covered with nails. Chisel strokes and embroidery stitches flickering. Beetles and flowers fluttering. Food for insects and food for humans. A space to rest, a space to contemplate, a space to eat. A manufacture of ceramic pots, toilet bowls and sinks. Modeled by hand and wood fire to stoneware temperature. Iron oxide and ashes in the kiln give shine and color to these fully functional containers. Serial gestures applied to this unlimited series of wall-hanging vessels remind us that the same fluids run through all beings and receptacles. A space to wash, a space to reflect. Sculptures in the round or modern farm follies in the shape of furniture pieces. A chest with a giant Flanders rabbit and three large arms as drawer handles. Two oxen and a yoke harnessed for labor. Six pigs in a sty. Butternut and buttercup squash vegetables growing from cabinet doors. Cloned mussels and fragments of oily bodies out of oiled oak. Noses, feet, boots and digestive systems. Sap, animals and plants of Europe. Interspeciesism and proto-industrial manufacture. Mammalian fantasies and pastoral hallucinations. A space for modern rural visions. <laughs>